Did a Dallas car dealership mogul just get a sweetheart deal from the city council? Two weeks ago, the council shot down Randall Reed's pitch for a love field development with high-end restaurants and a car dealership. Now, suddenly, that project is a go. Fox Sports' Lori Brown is live at the airport. All right, tell us about the dealership's new location, Lori. Steve Randall Reed is planning to pour millions of dollars into this long, vacant brand of operations and maintenance center here at Dallas Love Field. But some are concerned that the last minute vote flip by the Dallas City Council is a better deal for Randall Reed than the citizens of Dallas. We're thrilled. We're totally elated. Car dealership owner Randall Reed has spent years and $2 million on plans for this, a $41 million remodel in the long dormant Braniff Operations Center, turning it into a car dealership and charter jet hangar office. Four years in the making and, and for this incredible team to prevail is just showing that there is justice in the world. I don't believe this is a good deal for the taxpayers. Scott Griggs is concerned that the city never asked for competitive bids, called RFPs to see if someone else would pay more. The dealership will pay $1.5 million a year to the city. We'd probably find that other car dealerships um, here in Dallas when it would like to bid on this. Council member Philip Kingston questioned Mayor Pro Tem Monica Alonzo's sudden change of heart. After voting against the dealership two weeks ago, she moved for a revote. What is the reason for reconsideration? Uh, um, economic development and jobs. After losing the vote, Randall Reed's team hired lobbyist Steve Salazar, a former Dallas City Council member who appointed Alonzo to the Parks Board and later supported her council campaign. Reed's attorney told us straight up they hired Salazar because of his council connections. Pat White chairs the Lovefield Citizens Action Committee and lives near the airport. A failure to follow good practices being transparent, getting an RFP, and making sure that this is the best deal. What is your response to those who might say that this looks like a sweetheart deal with no RFP? Well, the only thing I would say is I would be fine with an RFP. I would have been fine, totally. Just don't take me to the altar three times and say yes, and then get to the point where a week later, the same members turn it down. Mayor Pro Tem Alonzo has not returned my call and email asking if Salazar helped sway her opinion. Reed says that this project will bring 1,000 jobs and his team is already talking with high-end restaurants interested in coming here. Steve? Okay, Lori Brown at Love Field, thank you.